Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand the concept of multivariate normality and multivariate outliers. The assumption that the multivariate data are normally distributed is central to many statistical techniques. The need to test the validity of this assumption is of paramount importance and a number of tests are available. When we are testing normality of more than one variable, we consider it as a multivariate normality. Multivariate outliers are observations in a data set that deviate significantly from the overall pattern or the distribution of the variables considered collectively. Unlike univariate outliers, which involve extreme values in the individual variables, multivariate outliers exhibit unusual combinations or relationships among multiple variables simultaneously. These outliers can distort parameters, estimates, affect the accuracy of predictive models and lead to bias biased conclusions or unreliable inferences. There are two distances to detect multivariate outliers. The first one is Mahalorbidae's distance. It measures the distance of each observation from the center of the distribution, taking into account the correlation between the variables and the variability of each variable. Observations with large Mahalorbidae's distance are considered potential multivariate outliers. The second is the Cook's distance. Cook's distance is a statistical measure commonly used in outlier detection. It quantifies the influence of each data point on statistical models parameters such as regression coefficients. Cook's distance measures the change in the estimated parameters when a particular observation is removed from the data set. In other words, it helps to identify the influential observations that have a large impact on the model's results. Now this is a data file on which we are going to work. I already explained what this JS1, JS2, JS3, JS4, OC1, OC2, OC3, OC4 are. They are basically the indicators of a construct. I have calculated the composite score of all this construct. How to calculate the composite score of each construct we will see in the upcoming videos. So these are the, uh, these are the composite scores which we have calculated. Now we want to see the presence of multivariate normality as well as are there any outliers or not. So for this, I will go and analyze regression and linear. Now I will transfer. I will transfer the staying intention and the dependent variable. Then I will transfer organizational commitment in the independent variable, job satisfaction here, then environmental perception here and behavior of the co-workers in the independent variable. So basically there are four predictor variables. Now you will have to click on statistics. Make sure that you click on collinearity diagnostics. Model fit should be on and estimates should be on. Continue. Uh, click on save. Click on Mahalabadeh's distance and the Cook's distance. Continue. Click OK. Now again you go in the data file and you will have to see the Mahalabadeh's distance which has been calculated by the system. This one. And this is the Cook's distance which has been calculated. This is Mahalabadeh's distance and this is Cook's distance. Now click on it and sort in the descending form. So we will get, we will get the observations whose Mahalabadeh's distance is large. The larger the distance means there is a possibility that this can be the outlier. But we will have to test this with the help of the test. Then only we can confirm that this Mahalabhadeh, uh, these observations are potential outliers. Now we will go in the output window, this one. And we, what we have to see is the maximum value of the Mahalabhadeh distance, which is 29.728. Not the minimum, we will have to see the maximum value. How to interpret this? Let's see. I have taken the screenshot of the output and the value which we have to see is 29.728. We will have to also have to see the table value of the chi-square at 95% at confidence level and 4 degree of freedom. Why I am considering 4 degree of freedom? because I am having four predictor variables, JS, OC, EP, and AC. 
I'm only considering independent variables. So this value turns out to be 9.488. It means that the Mahalabadi's distance maximum value is more than the chi-square value. What will be our interpretation? Let's see. If Mahalabadi's maximum value is less than chi-square value at 5% level of significance, then the multivariate normality exists. If Mahalabadi's maximum value is more than chi-square value at 5% level of significance, so now you have 5% level of significance or 95% confidence level, it is one and the same, then the monthly variant normality does not exist. So in our case, as the Mahalabadi's maximum value is more, which means that the multivariate normality does not exist due to the presence of some outliers. Now we will have to detect the observations which are outliers. So again, I'll go in the data file. I'll go in Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. I'll transfer the Mahalabinus distance in the dependent list and the ID, the case number in label cases by. Click on Statistics and make sure that the outliers is on. Continue. Click OK. And you will get the case numbers. So 29.72, the highest Mahalabadi's distance is for the observation number 258, then 298, then 79 and 43. This means that this, this outliers are creating the problem of multivariate normality. If you delete this, then possibly you can achieve the multivariate normality. Now we will use the second method, that is a Cook's distance for identifying the outliers. So for this, I'll go in Graphs, Chart Builder, click OK. Activate the scatter plot from here. Now transfer the Cook's distance in y-axis and the ID in x-axis. Click OK. And you've got the result. Now we want to have the observations number. Double click on it. A new window will appear and click on label cases by. Wait for some time. Close and close this window also. So here you will get the observation number. So three is a outlier. But is it a influential outlier or not? That we will have to see. That depends on the value. So here, 3 is well below the threshold limit of the Cook's distance, which is 1. As it is less than 1, it is not considered as an influential outlier. Now, what is the concept of influential outlier? Let's try to understand. If I delete this observation number 3, and if my regression estimates change uh, changes significantly, then I will say it is an influential outlier. Or after delaying, deleting it, even if the regression estimates does not change, then I will say that it is not the influential outlier. So let's interpret the Cook's distance. While interpreting the Cook's distance, a commonly used rule of thumb is to consider observations with Cook's distance greater than one as potentially influential outliers. However, it is important to note that, note that this, is a, this threshold is not a strict rule and, used be, and should be used as a guideline rather than definite cutoff. Observations with Cook's distance greater than 1 indicate that their inclusion or exclusion from the analysis has a substantial impact on the estimated regression coefficients. These observations are considered to have a notable influence on the model and may, and may uh, require the further investigation. Here, observation number 3 is well below the value of 1. You can see here. So we can say it is not an influential outlier. You can see here this value, this is well below the value 1. On y-axis, this value at present is 0.15. If any observation crosses the value of 1, then it is a potentially influential outlier. We can remove observation number 3 and see its effect on regression estimates. If there is significant difference in regression estimates, we, we will remove the observation number 3 and if the difference is insignificant, we will not delete it. Next is the interpretation of BIF and the tolerance value. So let's again go in the output 
and try to find out vif n here the value is vif value variance inflation factor should be less than 3 this value and the tolerance value should be more than 0 0.1 which means that the multivariate uh, which means that multicollinearity is not present so this is all about multivariate normality and multivariate outliers. For more videos on SPSS MS, please refer to my playlist where I have already uploaded many videos on SPSS MS. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button.